every single time I thought I'll take a break or wait until the next upload, an upload happens. I just posted Bizarre Buffs 88. The moment I hit upload, guess what happens? Nuke uploaded. I, I can't win. No matter what I do, I can't win. But that means more content for me, more content for you guys. And I heard you. I read the comments after I asked about, should I go through all the bazaars and then introduce Slap Ham and Sir Spooks? You guys said introduce them. What I'm going to be doing is waiting. I'm going to wait because Josh said he's going to go through some of the videos and send me some. I'm just going to go ahead and wait until Josh is done. In the meantime, I'm going to react to more Bizarre Bubs videos that I skipped out of as a way for a selected playlist from Josh. Does that sound fine to you guys? If so, awesome. If not, recommend me what I should do. I'm making content, make sure you guys are happy. So whatever makes you guys happy, I'm fine to do. But for the meantime, let's get into today's video, which is 10 scary videos to cry yourself to sleep to. <sighs> let's, let's just get it. Let's just get into it. Urban explorers from the YouTube channel Urbex Castronautica visit the historic La Plata Cemetery in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Okay, Cemetery Argentina. Was built in 1886 Ooh. and as the final resting place of many notable figures. Needs an update. While wandering through the huge cemetery's 12,000 tombs and vaults, yeah, so many stumble through... upon a crypt that has been vandalized. Yeah. Their camera captures something downright chilling. Someone needs to uptake that area. Yeah, look at that. I feel bad. People passed away there and it's not even taken care of properly. Oh no, the graves are open. Did you see it? No. No? Well, neither did the guys who filmed it. You see, after posting this video to YouTube, their sharp-eyed viewers were freaked out when they noticed a creepy little pale hand pulling back into an open coffin. Now, it happened so quick that it's hard to see without brightening the footage and analyzing it frame by frame. But when the footage is converted to a negative image, the spooky little hand is a bit easier to see. Yep. Now, it's very unlikely that anyone could have crawled into that coffin to fake this. This crypt is very old and unstable. Yeah. And it would be very dangerous for someone to just climb inside. Yep. So did this group of urban explorers accidentally capture proof of the nope. paranormal? Well, as usual, you decide. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, Urbex Castronautica. I was told that ghosts could be very harmful, especially in graveyards and cemeteries. But if you take the time of day to restore or even upkeep the graveyard cemetery or, or a portion of it or the whole entirety of it, I heard that spirits kind of leave you be. I'm not too sure how true that is. I've read comments. I've read there's times where in my TikTok, I get people who restore graves and tell the story of that individual. Either they find it through you know, public websites or there's times where the family members do send a brief history of the individual through either emails or Twitter DMs or TikTok DMs, whatever, because when the person is restoring it, they do a voiceover. I forgot what the page name is. I believe it was an African-American woman that goes out her way to restore these tombstones. And when she does these restoration videos, I think she sometimes even reaches out to family that sometimes might give her information. Sometimes these individuals don't have anybody who remains alive. She goes based on the bow that's on a public website. As I read through the comment section, there's many people who state that if you are restoring tombs or crypts or whatever, that the spirits leave her alone. The part that makes it a little bit more creepier is that she does it at night. But then the comments kind of reassured me that if it's to uptake or to restore these tombs, then they leave her be which I think is kind of cool. But for this whole entire cemetery, I think it needs a restoration. I think that person would probably be blessed and protected their whole life. Trapped 
In this next video, a man is taking a short okay. video of a car that he's planning to sell. The vehicle belonged to his sister, who tragically passed away right inside the car over a year and a half ago. After sending the footage to a potential buyer, he gets an alarming message saying he should really check the video closer. Hey man, hmm. here's this, uh, here's my sister's car. Just wanted to make this video so you could have a look at it. She still runs good. Oh, she's a little dirty. She has a lot of miles on her. But uh, it can clean up nice. Here's the front. Yeah, that's a... A little back. That's a no. And some of the back. But... Nah, you can hear the crying and whimpering. If you're interested, just uh, let me know what you think. How not to sell a car. The faint sound of a woman crying can be heard. The video was shared online by These Dark Adventures and quickly gained nearly 500,000 views. In the video comments, many concerned viewers believe that the voice belongs to the spirit of the man's sister who passed away inside the car. Nah. And her soul is still trapped. Yeah, you need to, to bless it. With stuff like that, you have to bless that car. You gotta allow her to move on. You need to do a little seance. In the Spanish culture, you do seven days of prayers. So what you need to do is just something. Have it blessed. Sit in the car. Talk with her. Say, hey, it's okay for you to move on. I'm okay. The family's okay. You can go rest in peace. Because if that car sells, uh, bitch, if I'm driving the highway at night and I hear someone crying next to me, tuck and roll. Just tuck and roll. That's, yeah, I'm tucking and rolling. You need to get the car blessed. Motorcycle mystery. Uh-oh. In the city of Cagayan de Oro in the Philippines, a motorcycle rider is driving down a busy road that is notorious for being the site of many fatal accidents. He is about to experience something that is truly bizarre. Mm -hmm. Whoa, some ran. Wow, that was clear. That's someone running across the street. Someone appears to jump right into the motorcycle's path, but when the rider looks back, there's no one there. Nope. But it gets even weirder because the motorcycle rider claims that whoever this was, they didn't appear to have a face, only a strange dark blur. Damn, now, that's many a locals nice believe that the rider saw the ghost of someone filter. who passed away on the dangerous road. But if this wasn't anything supernatural, then just what happened here? Let me know what you think. Open that house. is insane. Ready user slash realtor Sandra is recording a tour of a 1960s bungalow style home to show prospective buyers. But it's starting to get a bit late at the creepy little cottage. And things are about to get weird. I can do the same thing with my beard. Wow. It's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this vintage 1960s bungalow. What was that noise? Open this door. That's a decent bathroom. Better than mine. Go ahead, open this door. Open the door. Open this door like you the other one. Open the door. It feels like those demos of horror games. Stops. Right before the door moves, a face in the picture right beside Sandra seems to slowly 
darken, and then the creepy little shadow fades away just as the door swings open. Sandra says that she's experienced several unexplained paranormal events in this home, but this was the first time that she finally Are you sure captured about that? it on camera. We need scary videos, so if you see a scary we just seen that one. I forgot on what channel. Uh, obviously bizarre. This one I'm gonna have fun with. I'm gonna have like edits for that one for YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed the little edits I did for that one. Let me know with how that part was. If I should do that for all my videos, or should I just leave it for the ones we watched already? Let me know in the comment section below. A video that you think would be great on the top five. Email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Flicker. Reddit user Cybseb says that his mother is taking care of a young foster child at her home in England. One night, a TV is playing a cartoon in the child's bedroom. Okay. But the flickering light from the screen reveals something that the Reddit user and his mom simply can't explain. Okay. Something that is downright creepy. Creepy. Looking at the camera. Hello? It and it's a transmit. Someone seems to be seated in the chair. Oh, that was a, a toy. Face illuminates in the flashing light from the TV screen. Oh, hey, I thought it was then a toy. The face just disappears. Reddit user Cybseb wonders if his mother's security camera accidentally captured a paranormal presence. But what do you think this is? Arson. The Fond du Lac UFO. What? Around 2 a.m., Clarissa Bonnelay and her family friends are driving home to Fond du Lac, Saskatchewan, Canada. Suddenly, Florissa spots something very odd in the night sky. If it's not America, oh no. It, should, it looks like a UFO, right? That's a UFO. Christian. Is it just staying right there? Look, it's just above there. Are you recording it? Yeah. <gasps> That's a UFO. You can just see it. <laughs> well, hide, you know. <laughs> Bro, you can just see it. It's like the rocket. Just keep recording it. Well, you're driving totally the you. fucking opposite direction. How can she record it if you're. Everyone is shocked as they witness a strange circular object with flashing lights soaring through the sky. Florissa's mother posted the video to Facebook and friends and local residents immediately begin to respond that they too have seen the strange UFO. Eyewitness reports in the thread go all the way back to January 1990. So Damn. just what could this mysterious flying object be? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Can we as a community just talk and just say hey if we if you are driving if i'm the driver if you're the driver i think it's common for the consensus to fucking park if it's a ufo you could be having groundbreaking footage most of that people would like to pay for that or advertise it or whatever and that's a great way for you to advertise your business advertise you as an individual. If you have a social media platform, you could most likely blow up on these things. There's so many different things you can do. Like I just stated, submit it to your news station. Have it get credited back to you. You might have something revolutionary. If it's real, it's fine. If it's something that could be explained, most likely, obviously the government might want to hide it. But now they're talking about UFOs could be real in the US government side of things. Still, park the car and also get a Galaxy. Stop with the iPhones. What you can do with the Galaxy is you can screen record. Instead of having the media being screen recorded, you can actually have your mic being screen recorded too. So you could just zoom in, zoom in a hundred times to get a more better, clearer, whatever of what you're reviewing. That's just me. Let's just continue. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Follower. Nick Perry says that late one night he was driving down the allegedly haunted Dyers Lane Road in Roseville, California. 
he says that he saw an ominous dark shadow figure appear in the middle of the road. Nick believes that this okay. dark entity ominous. followed him home and says that he now experiences terrifying paranormal activity. He so brought something home with him. I shared Nick's story on Nuke's Top 5, along with some of the scary footage that he had captured. Nice guitars. Is this door or is that window? Two years since those videos were recorded, Nick Perry has moved the to hooker. a new house in a new city, but he believes that the dark entity has followed him. I just got home, and uh, as I was walking in, I heard some banging noises in here. So that's why I'm setting up the camera right now to find out you know, who <coughs> it is. Max, shut up. Ain't hey, nobody here. It has up against the fucking wall. Nick decides to leave several cameras recording when he's away from home. When he reviews his footage, he is shocked. Mm-mm. Alright, same position from... Nah, unless you're paying my bills, don't mess with my fridge. All right, can you close it at least? My man was like a linebacker. He says that he's reached out to several churches and religious authorities, but no one has helped him. What? As of today, Nick says that he continues to experience paranormal events in and around his home. He shares his dark experiences over on his YouTube channel. Nah, that, that shit ran with meaning. That, that ghost really had it out for that camera. Mimic. Leandro okay. from Buenos Aires, Argentina, says that he began Another to experience Argentina. strange, unexplained events only weeks after moving into his new home. Okay. He says that he would often discover that many of his belongings had been inexplicably moved into the house's bathroom. Leandro installed a security camera to see what's been going on. But late one night, he captures something more than he bargained for. Nah, yeah, something. If my door opens like that. <laughs> Nah, 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 nah. Is unnerved nope. by the strange paranormal experience. Nope. He decides to check into the history of his new home nope. for answers. No, nope. he is horrified when he discovers that in the 1950s, a family of four passed away in a tragic fire on the very same land where his house now sits. Another night and Leandro has his friend Daniel over. And once Damn, again, Daniel. it goes sideways. Nope. The window. La Ventana. It's like two figures. One figure is at the door looking in. A mysterious white figure can be seen passing by the window just outside Leandro's home. Then the items sitting on the nightstand get launched into the air by an invisible force. And Leandro oh, then there, Ma, I thought it was another Daniel figure looking in. In shock. And now, this is when things get really strange. Because Leandro claims that after this incident, the spirit that haunts his house actually began to imitate or mimic the sound of his friend Daniel's voice. Nope. Okay. 
con lo que yo convivo desde hace meses. Con esto yo convivo hace meses. Siempre que grabo... Vos no sos Daniel. Vos no sos Daniel, esa no es tu voz. Vos no sos Daniel, esa no es tu voz. Daniel se fue hace meses del país, vos no sos Daniel. Si querés lastimarme, salí y lastimame ahora. Ya... Déjame de joder. Déjame de joder. Yo así no puedo vivir. Ya no puedo vivir así. Ya no puedo vivir. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Yo no tengo más miedo. No tengo más miedo. I am not looking. Leandro says that he's had more than enough of the strange supernatural activity no. in his new home. No. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I'm gonna slow this part down. To me, it seemed like there was a cut right here. This could, at the same time, it's not. I don't know. Because I feel like there was a big pause in between when he went into the door. Footprints. A woman named Kat lives in a remote area near the woods in Pennsylvania. One All right. freezing cold morning around Close to my neck of the woods. Kat wakes up to find a light dusting of snow covering the ground outside. But then she notices something just outside her back door. Oh, something print. truly disturbing. Oh, print. Good morning, guys. It is literally 5 a.m. And I opened okay. the back door to put some dry food out for the stray kitties. And wow. there are people feet printed all over my deck in the snow. Do you see this? They start over there. And like barefoot walks up to the table. There's nothing coming up to the. Maybe there is some coming up to the door. What? And Maybe I don't see kitty. any in the yard. This kitty. What is this? I see them kind of coming out of the flower bed. They stop there. I thought maybe they would have walked off through that flower bed, but I don't see anything there. It's like one straight line from out in the yard up to the door, turned around towards the table, and then just Gone. stopped moving. That one has like, one, two, three, four, like six toes. That's six toes. So is that one. One, two, three, four, five. It is 16 degrees out. I have not gone out. I'm trying to think yet. like. My cat came and woke me up hysterical, probably because there was some barefoot person on the deck. I'm just more concerned about like a mental health crisis because there's no reason to be out there barefoot. True. Now, for obvious reasons, Kat is a bit freaked out. But she's also yeah. worried that someone might be experiencing a mental health crisis and is wandering around in the freezing cold with no shoes. She calls the police, but she's reassured that no one has been reported missing or lost. And there okay. have been no reports of trespassers or break-ins in the area. Kat is concerned, but she's done all she can, and she just lets it go. Until and almost two weeks later, okay, the mysterious footprints are back. Okay. Camera morning footprint update. Get one of these. This is a camera pen. You put an SD card in there, you charge it, and you leave it looking at a different direction. It's still a functioning pen. It still functions as a pen. You know, the, you just spin it. See? There's no pen tip. You spin the bottom part. Now it has a pen tip. And it can write. So it looks like a legit pen. It has ink in it and everything. Hit the button on top. And just record. That could save you a lot of things. Because you don't have to get yourself a big bulky camera. For this kind of situations, give yourself one of those tiny pens. <clears throat> Let me show you. This is the first time we've had snow since the initial footprint sighting. Do you see that? It's like walking in circles. Again. 
they are in a different spot than <clears throat> look at my shadow. So those prints are in a different spot than when we had prints before. Let's go downstairs. It is seven o'clock. I've been up since 4.30. I didn't look outside. I just came up here and then I opened the window to see if any of the stray cats were coming up to the door yet because I didn't feed them yet. Oh yeah. I'm gonna stay right along the side so I don't interfere. Those are definitely very bare human feet, but there are not six toes on these that I can tell. I don't know. No, no those are very clear toes right there. Yeah, it's more like the person's on like the tippy so toe. So the house next door has nobody living in it, so I'm not sure why the prints would be coming from that deck. <sighs> Happy New Year. Cat purchased two security cameras to monitor the outside And Merry of Christmas. Home, but the mysterious barefoot stranger hasn't returned yet so could this be something supernatural or is it something even scarier a, human. a real person creeping around cat's house in the middle of the night you need a camera and a caca push what i mean by caca push is caca push caca push you need one of those not, not a little caca push no you need a caca push caca push you need one of those things Okay, you want to make sure you're safe and your kitties are safe. A fucking weirdo, that cold of a temperature, who's anti hypothermia, coming on your deck barefoot, just raw dogging it, literally. You need a caca push to save your home. So invest into a caca push before he may caca on your porch. Heads up, popular Chinese ghost hunter <gasps> yes, is Shao Long is back. I'm investigating an abandoned school in China that is said to be extremely I haunted. missed him so much. As his live stream audience watches, Shao Long begins to hear unexplained noises from somewhere in the building. He runs at them. He's a little on edge as he goes to check out the strange sounds. What happens next is just watch. Okay. Yeah, man. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Shame gets the fright of his life because of a plastic statue head. But luckily, Shaolong delivers a good old fashioned slap upside the head <laughs> to put that statue back in line. What are the five fingers? But things are about to get a bit more serious. To the face. A bit more frightening. As Shaolong explores deeper into the haunted school, this happens. Lap. That's a ball. It's a soccer ball. Football ball. I'm just get this loop. Okay. Hey, throw away the kid's toy. I'm gonna fight you back too.
A small ball inside a classroom rolls across the floor by itself. Uh huh. So Shalon chucks it out a window. But then the lights hanging from the ceiling come crashing down, yep. almost hitting Shalon. Now, luckily, the ghost hunter made it out safe, but he's not done just yet. Inside one of the school's many rooms, he finds a dirty old mirror. And this is when his exploration comes takes to an a end. Terrifying turn. Oof. I want to watch his explorations. <laughs> and there's nowhere to escape. There's no. I love him so much. You got him. What's holding him up? Imagine that like he's like in front of him. Oh. Wow, it is gone. Ooh, what he said? My who? reflection someone can be seen hmm. standing behind Xiao Long. I mean he's standing on business he's terror. running There's at no him one there after an attempt at kicking and flailing at the invisible entity <laughs> Xiao Long finds that the reflection of the figure has disappeared but now he spots a shadowy face peeking in from a window and a heavy closet comes crashing down right in front of him the activity is becoming a little too intense yeah so Xiao Long decides to leave and ends his live stream. You can see even more terrifying moments from this ghost hunt over on the YouTube channel, Outdoor Shaolong. Seriously, guys, I'm asking you guys for a favor for me. Do you want me to go through Outdoor Shaolong's YouTube videos? Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna go through an older video. I'm gonna say one that's a year ago. All right, so. I just clicked on the random video. There is English subtitles to it. Obviously, he has it in his native language of Mandarin, most likely. And then he has it in English beneath the uh, Mandarin. I am totally down to watch some of Shaolong's videos. He has full lives. Would it be cool with you guys that I do a live reacting to his live? And then I could just break it down on YouTube as in obviously cut it up and stuff like that. I think that's an interesting idea. What do you think? But I think on that note, I am going to end it there. Xiao Long is probably one of the only second to Urban Hill that I 
actually enjoy watching their paranormal stuff. So let me know what you want me to do. I'm down for anything. But on that note, guys, I love your faces. This has been Nuke Top 5, 10 scary videos to cry yourself to sleep to. Love your faces, and I'm out. Peace.